Welcome to this short demo on the active and smart labels. In the context of network scanning, labels organize your assets and vulnerabilities. For example, you could have a label for assets running on Windows and another for easy to fix vulnerabilities. In the context of web application scanning, labels organize your web applications, pages and vulnerabilities. For example, you could have a label for server-side web applications and another for easy to fix vulnerabilities. We can create and assign custom labels to your assets and vulnerabilities. To access the labels page on the console, we'll click on system and then on labels. Here we can see two tabs, active labels and smart labels. Active labels are labels that were created by the user by either assigning the label to a vulnerability or an asset. Smart labels are labels that are automatically assigned to vulnerabilities. Smart labels are labels that are automatically assigned to assets based on preset criteria created by the user. Let's first see how we can create an active label. For that, we will need to go to our active view, which is the second item of the menu. The active view is the place where you will find all the assets scanned and all the vulnerabilities detected. We'll then click on assets and there we'll select a few devices that we scanned and we will assign to them a label. I then click on add label. I will select a color and I will give a name to the label. I call it critical asset label and click on add. My label is now created. I will be able to see my label on system labels and here I can see the label I just created. Critical asset label. We can do the exact same thing, but for vulnerabilities. I will select a few vulnerabilities. I will click on add label. I will select a color and I will call them and then click on add. I will be able to see my newly created vulnerabilities label on system labels, critical vulnerabilities label. Once the label is created, we can then go to the scan creation screen and select the label in question to scan it. Let's do it. I click on new, scan. And on my target section, I will click on ad hoc dynamic assets. I will select label. And I will select my critical assets. And then I can automatically scan all the assets that were added to this label. Let's now see how we can create a smart label, which is a label that will be automatically assigned to assets according to preset criteria created by the user. I am back to my labels page and I will click on the second tab, smart labels. There I can see some default smart labels that I can enable or disable. And to create a new smart label, I will click on the new smart label button. I give my smart label a name.
I also give it a description and the color. Once this is done, I will provide the dynamic filters. Let's create a filter to have all the servers assigned to, to this smart label. But not only, let's add a new filter, which is exploit observed in the wild. The result will be that in this smart label, I will have all my servers that have vulnerabilities for which exploits have been observed in the wild. Once I'm done, I will click on save and my smart label is created. As you can see, I have my smart label here. I can disable it or re-enable it. I hope you enjoyed the demo and thank you for watching.